Hi guys! In this lesson, I will explain the most commonly and widely used measurement and test devices in electrical and electronic circuits. I will also try to show many devices that we may encounter in daily life. It will be a nice video where you can find basic information about what kind of measurements are made with which device. Let's start with the most basic measuring instrument, the multimeter. We can take many measurements with multimeters. First of all, we can measure resistance, current, and voltage with them. We can also measure diodes, transistors, and frequency. Since there are many types, it is also possible to make other measurements according to their characteristics. In addition to these multimeters with many functions, there are also measuring instruments that measure only voltage and current separately and together. Analog and digital types are also widely used. A voltmeter is an instrument that measures electric potential difference, or voltage, between two points in an electrical circuit. It is connected in parallel with the part of the circuit being measured, so the voltage across that part of the circuit also appears across the voltmeter. Voltmeters are designed to measure a wide range of voltage values, from very small voltages to large voltages. An ammeter is an instrument that measures electric current in a circuit. It is connected in series with the part of the circuit being measured, so the current flowing through the circuit also flows through the ammeter. Ammeters are designed to measure a wide range of current values, from very small currents to large currents. A wattmeter is an instrument that measures the power consumption or production in an electrical circuit. It measures the amount of energy being used or produced at a given moment and is typically measured in watts. A wattmeter consists of a pair of coils, a current coil and a voltage coil. The current coil is connected in series with the circuit being measured, and the voltage coil is connected in parallel with it. The interaction between the current and voltage in the circuit causes a deflection in the wattmeter's pointer or digital readout. A clamp ammeter, also known as a current clamp or current probe, is a type of electrical test instrument that allows the measurement of current flowing in a conductor without having to make direct contact with the conductor. It works by clamping around the conductor and using the principle of electromagnetic induction to measure the current. Clamp ammeters are used in a wide range of applications, including electrical troubleshooting, industrial maintenance, and power quality analysis. They are commonly used in place of traditional ammeters because they are non-invasive, easy to use, and do not require the conductor to be disconnected for measurement. They are available in different measurement ranges, and some of them can measure both AC and DC current. An electrical tester pen, also known as a voltage detector or voltage tester, is a handheld tool used to detect the presence of electrical current in a circuit. It typically consists of a small probe with a pointed tip that can be touched to an electrical wire or component to determine if there is an electrical current flowing through it. Some electrical tester pens also have a built-in light that will indicate the presence of a current. They are commonly used by electricians, technicians, and enthusiasts to safely test for power before working on electrical systems. With it, we can check whether there is electricity in a socket. Non-contact and digital versions of control tester pens are also widely used. If there is electricity on the line in the socket, the light inside lights up. In this way, control is provided. Many of us have used it or seen it used. An oscilloscope is a type of electronic test instrument that allows the observation of varying signal voltages, usually as a two-dimensional graph of one or more electrical potential differences using the vertical or y-axis plotted as a function of time, horizontal or x-axis. It is used to troubleshoot electronic circuits and to analyze the behavior of electronic signals. Oscilloscopes are essential tools in fields such as electronics, telecommunications, and computer engineering. They are used to display, measure, and analyze electrical signals, including voltage, current, and frequency. They can display AC or DC signals, and most oscilloscopes can also measure the frequency, duty cycle, and other parameters of signals. The most common types of oscilloscopes are analog oscilloscope and digital oscilloscope. A tachometer is a device used to measure the rotation speed of a shaft or disc, typically in revolutions per minute or RPM. Tachometers are commonly found in a variety of applications, such as engines, motors, and other rotating machinery. 
There are several types of tachometers, including mechanical, electrical, and optical tachometers. Electrical tachometers use a sensor, such as a magnetic pickup, that detects the passing of a magnetic field generated by the rotating shaft. Optical tachometers use a sensor that emits a beam of light and detect the reflection of the light off of the rotating surface to calculate the RPM. Tachometers are used in a variety of industries, including manufacturing, automotive, aircraft, and marine engineering. Infrared thermometers are used to measure all kinds of temperatures. With these, the temperature of an environment or surface can be measured in a non-contact way. With some models, it is possible to measure non-contact temperature between minus 30 and 650 degrees Celsius. Lux meter, also known as light meter, is a device used to measure the level of illuminance or light intensity. Illuminance is a measure of the amount of light falling on a surface and is measured in units of lux, LX, or foot candles, FC. A lux meter typically consists of a light sensor, an amplifier, and a display that shows the measurement. They can measure light in a wide range of frequency and are commonly used in fields such as lighting design, photography, and film production, as well as in industrial, commercial, and residential building. Lux meter is also used to check the light levels in workplaces and public areas to ensure they meet safety and comfort standards. An anemometer is a device used to measure wind speed. There are several types of anemometers, but the most common is the cup anemometer, which consists of three or four cups mounted on a vertical shaft. As wind blows past the cups, they rotate and the number of rotations is used to calculate wind speed. Other types of anemometers include the vane anemometer, which uses a vane to measure wind direction and speed, and the ultrasonic anemometer, which uses sound waves to measure wind speed. Anemometers are commonly used in meteorology, wind engineering, and renewable energy applications. It is small and easy to use. With these, it is possible to measure airspeed in meters per second, kilometers per hour, or in a different unit. Sound and level meter takes data such as sound and noise and outputs them in dB or decibels. A sound level meter, also known as a decibel meter, is a device used to measure sound pressure levels. It typically consists of a microphone, an amplifier, and a display that shows the measurement in decibels. Sound level meters are commonly used in a variety of fields, such as industrial noise control, building acoustics, and occupational health and safety. They can measure both the overall sound level and the level of specific frequencies, and some meters also include data logging capabilities. These are some basic measurement and test devices that we can use for many measurements. You can quickly learn their use as you make applications using them. I hope this video was useful and you liked it. If you have different devices that you use, you can mention them in the comments section so that everyone can benefit and learn. Hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!